Chester Barnard was a Harvard economist and a follower of Max Weber. And he is one of the very few leading management thinkers and theorists who actually held a senior line management position. He spent all of his working career working for American Telephone and Telegraph, AT&T. Barnard focused on the way that organizations are interconnected networks consisting of managers, employees, customers, suppliers, investors, a whole web of different types of people and organizations. And in this way, he highly anticipated ideas like Porter's Five Forces and the thinking of people like E. Merrick Dodd, Frank W. Abram, and Igor Ansoff when they described the idea of stakeholders and a stakeholder business. Chester Barnard's basic idea of organizations is simple. He believed that people have their own individual motivations, but when they come together to work together on a shared goal, they become an organization. But that organization then needs to prompt compliance and enhance the willingness to comply and to conform among its individuals because those individuals may themselves have their own goals which might not be completely aligned with the goals of the organization. That's what creates the organizational structures that we see. In understanding how organizations create compliance and how they build those structures, he focused on three aspects of communication. First, Barnard observed that there is a need for formal channels of communication that connect aspects of the organization to each individual within it. Second, for these to be effective, everyone has to understand those channels and how they work. And thirdly, Barnard argued that for these channels of communication to be as effective as possible, they need to be as short and direct as you can make them. And in that, Barnard anticipated the delayering of organizations that we saw in the 1980s, and then subsequent ideas like ad hocracy and halacracy that we've examined in earlier videos. To emphasize the extent to which Barnard did indeed anticipate holacracy and ad hocracies, he further went on to describe organizations as truly being made up of many smaller sub-organizations. He argued that smaller organizations are able to act with less formality and therefore with greater responsiveness and agility. Although it's likely that he didn't actually use the word agility. But as these smaller organizations within organizations grow, they themselves need to adopt more and more of the formality of larger organizations until they reach a point where that not being sustainable, they fragment in themselves. Sadly, Chester Barnard is not well remembered now. And it's probably due to the fact that his writing was very dense and overly precise. However, that precision is important. And Barnard was the first to write about an important distinction between efficiency on the one hand and effectiveness on the other. Because efficiency is all about how quickly you can do something and with how few resources. Whereas effectiveness is more about making the choices to do the right things in the right way to serve the organization. Barnard was a visionary thinker. And he isn't well known, probably because of his writing style, but possibly because of one of his greatest strengths. He was a real practitioner. For all of his career, he was a senior manager at AT&T and therefore never entered academia and never published academic papers that other academics could cite. Regardless of that fact, it is well worth understanding the basic ideas that Barnard put forward because not only were they visionary, they remain relevant today.
please do give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. There's lots more great management courses content to come. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.